We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Uh, this is going to be one of these reviews where I I probably make stuff up. Uh, this 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 here, this little setup here, uh, this is it's the Blaze and Frost project. I think that's the the name for it. This was sent on by a very nice man, and uh, I, and at this moment in time, I, I don't actually know if they're going to be doing another run of these or not. I still wanted to do a quick video showing it off because it's really really pretty, and it's actually the RDA is actually very good also. Uh, so. Blaze and Frost project. It's a mechanical mod with an RDA on top. Um, it is works in 18650, 18350. I'll actually put up a screen with all the specs for you just now. But this was 250 uh, US dollars when it was brand new off list, and you can get it with. It, it does have Juma. You've got a Juma piece on it and a Juma drip tip and a Juma beauty ring. Uh, they came in different colours. Uh, close-ups. Now this came in a really nice box, uh, a nice box for this with Blaze and Frost on it. Inside uh, we have a, a little card with a serial number, I, I have a custom serial number on mine and uh, yes, two stickers, a little bit of paper telling you everything that's come in the box. Squonk pin, spare post screws, spare o-rings, uh, a little beauty ring here and uh, a polycarbonate top cap and the, the device itself which is absolutely gorgeous. It really is stunning, this. Uh, it's 18650. Now, I have to get this out of the way now. When I opened this, um, there was a, a loose part uh, in the box. And and you can see here that um, we have a little scratch here. Where was the other one? Down here as well. And there was one just up here somewhere as well. I think it's there as well. Now these marks were on this when it arrived. Now obviously if I'd bought this myself, if I've gone out and spent my own money, I wouldn't be happy. So yeah, I would contact the guys and get it sorted. But uh, maybe with the packaging, maybe I like a foam insert on the top to make sure that uh, you know these things don't become loose when they're being shipped. Uh, but yeah, I, I was a bit disappointed in this. So I'm afraid that that will be a con for the device. So what we'll do to start this off is we're going to take the RDA off the top and this is the frost. So obviously we have a, a Juma beauty ring. We have a Juma drip tip here. Simple little narrow bore there. This is 22 millimeters in diameter. It's only about 17 millimeters in height, not including the 510 and the drip tip. On the base here we have um, hashtag shed life. That's mine and uh, frost and so on. Now, I apologize. I have actually just been using this. Uh, we have a, uh, this is really, really, really is nice. Wait until you see the deck in this. Now it's a, a black Cerakoted stainless steel top cap. Uh, the deck is 316 stainless steel. They've uh, popped shed on the top here. Uh, obviously it's a lot shinier when it's fully dried off, but yes, I have been vaping with this. The, the O-ring round here works perfectly, keeps the cap on tight. You do get a standard squonk pin with it also. Uh, and it is quite a simple deck. Uh, you know, you just have your positive and negative here. But do you know the actual machining on this is really, really nice. You know, just the way it's been, you know, no sharp edges. It's been smoothed out here. It's been done really, really well. You've got uh, four one millimeter air holes going on here. And, uh, you know, you can with uh, the top cap, you can have them fully open or you can, you know, spin this and you can close some of them off. It's up to you. But uh, this is, for me, is a restricted direct lung. And you can also do a mouth to lung with it as, as well if you close the airflow down. I'll pop a build in this in a second, but we'll have a look at the, the mod next. Now this is about 74 millimeters in height. This is uh, 24 millimeters across the top here. And uh, we have a, a side firing button down the bottom. I've seen this in other mods. Uh, we'll take it to bits. You have a little top cap here. This comes off. We've got blaze and all that. And it's been coated again. Uh, so we'll put that to one side. This is a T6 aluminium tube that we have here. And you can break this down into its component parts. It's very, very light. A little bit of Juma comes off like that uh, and you can also unscrew this Juma piece here and that gets you to this copper section here. Now obviously 
soft aluminium uh, when you push this part here it's making contact off here and that's how you fire the mod uh, I'll talk about you know what the switch is like when we get to the summary at the end but you can if you want you can use this as a little 18350 and it's tiny it's so small it's just over 44 millimeters in height stunning little thing i mean it is aluminium once again it's aluminium this um you know just make sure that i mean you'll you'll feel this aluminium threads always feel a little bit with all the aluminium mods i've had over the years they always feel a little bit janky but this is it's not bad it threads together well so i've no real issues with that now i'm going to pop in a 0.4 ohm coil in here it's one of my benchmark coils from pc coils I'm going to go for 2.5 inner diameter um, and uh, here we go here. You don't need to see me putting this in because it's pretty straightforward. Now for me with the coil placement on this I found it to be quite important. Uh, you can see, hopefully see where my coil is sitting there. Uh, I tend to have it um, almost level with here. It's almost coming up to that height and rather than having it sitting in the center I have it coming forward towards the airflow and that once again is what works well for me just like that you'll get a three millimeter in there no problem as well I, I wouldn't go daft on really low resistance coils because this is a restricted direct lung RDA there's nothing exciting to watch out for when you're putting cotton in here uh, obviously because I'm only dripping with this just now uh, I, I just packing it in there and make sure that my airflow is clear here get all the cotton out the way of the air holes and that that is pretty much me set up and ready to go before we go any further i'm going to throw a battery in this now um my personal preference is uh when i got this at first i was unscrewing this cap here and uh you know popping the battery in and then putting this back together i would avoid doing that um you know just because and if i pull this out just now uh you know with the juma the threading on the juma going into the aluminium you really don't want to be doing a threading action on that too often uh, or i wouldn't uh, so me personally i tend to just unscrew this section here so i'm set i'm only threading you know aluminium into aluminium and, and i'm not going to risk damaging the juma threading so battery in there i've got positive up going on here uh, I'll thread that together but I'm not going to thread it up all the way you can see I have a gap there uh, I'm then going to take my atty and we'll oh I need my beauty ring where's my beauty ring there she blows screw this down that's all good and then I'm going to tighten up this and there we go and that's it we're all ready and I should be able to that's it we're good to go I really think this is a beautiful looking setup it is one of my favorites this year uh, when it comes to make mods it is, i think it's gorgeous right i shall compose myself here uh, because I, once again I, i'm this is my second take at recording my summary because i gushed i gushed rather a lot the first time i did this now once again i am not 100 percent sure if there will be another run for this mod once again the polar group on Facebook is where I found the list. I don't know if it's still active. I apologize for that, for not knowing that information. If I get an update, I've asked a couple of people, uh, I will post it in the description for this video or it will be here, one or the other. Uh, I really like this and I think for $250, um, obviously the exchange rate sucks here now, but the, uh, $250 this I think this is very pretty and actually well made uh, I think the standout feature for me is going to be the actual atty itself I like the machining on it uh, I like there's no sharp edges or you know it's it's just polished finish on it 316 stainless steel very very simple to build in and it's got a lovely restricted direct lung uh, on it it's just some people may call that loose mouth to lung these days. This is the kind of vape that you would get from these modern pod systems where they say it's mouth to lung. For me, this is restricted direct lung. But um, hang on while I, I sort my hand here and, and we'll have a vape. So smooth, but 
The coil placement is key on this one. Uh, you really want to get it further over and a little bit higher. Um, yes, yeah, you might find that it works better in different locations, but for the way I'm building, yeah, that's what suits me. You're also not going to be throwing in big, chunky Claptons and giving this a gazillion watts. It's not that kind of RDA, it just isn't. But it, 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 once again, it's well machined and and I I really, really like the airflow from the flow flow from the airflow flow from the airflow through this. The mod, uh, the fact that it's um, 18350, which is tiny and this is a tiny wee thing, or you can go 18650 uh, and it's the Juma. I mean, the Juma, I know once again, there's lots of different colors they do for the Juma, uh, but it just looks gorgeous, it really does. Uh, the firing button location, uh, or the firing clip, or whatever they call it in these mods, uh, I, I'm struggling just now because I, I broke my hand, uh, so I can't push the button with my right hand as well as I should, but it, it fires every single time. There is a period of adjustment getting used to firing down here. Uh, I, I'm not sure how that would work with 18350 if you're in 18350 mode because it's so small. Uh, but for me, fires every time, and I, I'm going to. I'm just going to stop there. I'm just going to stop. Um, also, the fact that it comes with the polycarb and, and another beauty ring, I really, really do like this mod. It's one of my, possibly my favourite setup mech-wise this year, this thing. I think it's just gorgeous. Um, once again, I, I'm just, I'm gutted about the, the damage when it arrived. I have to say that, I mean, I know I could probably contact the mod maker that would send out new tubes and, and then just brush this under the carpet, but... Uh, yeah, the, the, this shouldn't arrive like that. So uh, I'm just going to say to you, there's also one other thing I want to check. Hang on a second. Yeah, I, I, I've just, <laughs> I don't know why. I did. It's a mod I really, really like. And I, I just took the edge of a screwdriver and just gave it a little scratch there. Um, the the coating on this is, I think this is one that you would have to handle with kids gloves. Uh, it's not one that uh, I, you know, if you have a ring like mine here or anything, you, you could end up just chipping that paint off, uh, which is, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, I, I wish it was just a, a bit thicker. I'm still not changing my mind. I'm just going to get a black Sharpie and color in those chips, but um, that's it. Um, just giving you my cons on the finishing and uh, everything else is 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 two thumbs up from me. I absolutely adore this, uh, but check the video description. Uh, I'll put more information there on whether or not this is actually available still uh, and how you get a hold of it. But uh, until next time, bye for now.